Hey everybody, we're going to do an unboxing today. This is a Furman T08072 generator, tri fuel. So it does gas, propane, or natural gas. 10,000 watts on gas uh, max. 8,000 running. You've probably seen these if you're looking around. What's in the box? So, quick start stop guide. Included items. Let me just flip this around here. Install the wheel kit. Prevent carbon monoxide. Battery connection. A little bit on some of the functions of the generator. Second sheet, which is pretty much the same thing. I guess they said. Gave me two sheets. And quick starting instructions which are zip tied to the, the generator. So I'm going to leave that there. Oil. Natural gas hose. Oh, not natural gas, for this is propane. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with natural gas hose, which is too bad because that's the main reason why I bought this. I want to run it on natural gas. Bunch of parts. Funnel. Apparently they send you everything you need. Fun all to put the oil in. Nice big wheels. I think these are supposed to be 10 inch wheels. Hard. You don't have to worry about them going flat. Which is nice. And there's a nice couple of wheels, a couple of pins in here. wheels under the generator. No idea what this is yet. Oh, that would be the, the foot for the opposite side with the, uh, the bolts already there. The back still already aching. About lifting this thing. So, I uh, guess yeah, the next thing is just going to be cutting it out of the box. So, I'll spare you the boring details of cutting it out of the box. But basically, there she is. I'm just going to stop for the video for a minute and I'm going to cut that box away and expose the generator. Okay, so here we go out of the box. There's the fuel source switch, choke, 
the pull start. Not a whole lot on this side. I'm guessing it's probably the the muffler, the big black piece, you can see the pipe coming out of the engine over to it. Not a whole lot on this side. I don't know what that round piece is for. Could be a emission control, some type. Big 30 liter reservoir. Let's see, that would be about $60 plus in today's gas here in Ontario. There's not a whole lot to see on this side. So next I'm going to put the wheels on. So I'm just going to shut you off for a second here while I get ready to do that. Okay, so I'm just propping the generator up. Get ready to put the wheel on. So, uh, raise side to the inside. Water pin out. Shut through, put the washer on, put the cover pin back in. There we go, one side done. Do the same on the other side. Side. Pull that clutter pin out. Take the washer off. Put that through. Put that through the hole. You won't be able to see this because the muffler's in the way, but the washer's going to go on, of course. And then I'm going to push the clutter pin through the hole in the wheel axle that it came out of. There we go. Those are on. So I'm just going to lower that down and we'll look at putting the uh, bumpers on the other side. Okay. Let's look at the bumpers. And the nifty wrenches they send with it. And in the manual they show the bolts coming down through from the top. It makes a difference, but I'll follow the manual. Yeah, that's just going to go up in there. Okay. The number twelve. Snug it. Thank you. 
all done. So, I guess next we'll be putting some oil in. I'm just going to read ahead in the manual and see what it says. Okay, so after going through the manual, the oil that comes with this is 10W30 and it's just 946 milliliters. In the manual it says 1.1 liters. So I don't know why they saw you short on the oil. Maybe when you fill it up it's to the bottom. But I'm not going to use that oil anyways. I'm going to go uh, in the manual it says you can use fully synthetic uh, 5W30. Gives you a, a better lower range for temperature. 10W30 is good to uh, zero Fahrenheit and the 5W30 is good down to minus 20 so uh, sometimes here in Ottawa the, the temperature can get down pretty low like I say uh, Fahrenheit it's minus 17.8 and it wouldn't be unusual for us to be minus 20 minus 22 sometimes uh, the odd time and you know if the power goes out during that time I want to be able to run the generator with the proper oil in it so it'll do the full the full spread temperature wise so I'm going to go to our local hardware store and buy some of that and uh, put 946 milliliters in and see where it gets me on the dipstick but that will be a separate video so there will be a, a part two I still haven't hooked up the battery on this one I don't intend to try to turn it over yet because it's got no oil in it you can see where the oil goes in right there so it will be uh, easy to get at and the drain plugs right there too with the, that brass thing right there in the center that would be the drain plug so uh, once I get the oil um, maybe tomorrow I'll uh, walk up to the hardware store and buy some oil can't afford to drive there anymore and uh, we'll fill it up and uh, I'll put a I think I'll, I'll run it on propane since it comes with the propane hose I'll uh, try starting with propane and uh, maybe uh, until I get my natural gas lines set up, uh, I'll be running it on propane. I got two two tanks that I possibly might get filled if I go to the right station around here. They're I think they're past due on the date, but the cylinders look brand new, so I'll uh, I'll see if I can get them topped up. And then I'll have uh, propane to to run it. We can try it on propane, see how she starts. So I'll uh, look for a, a second video to come. Uh, well, hopefully within this week, we'll see. Uh, if I can get it done in the week. Cheers guys.